Hello, today let's talk about Moondrop Kato. I know that I am a bit late with this review, but anyway, this model will uh, remain uh, pretty actual for quite a long time, because Moondrop uh, build their lineup around this uh, car line it it uh, actually was the model that brought them popular popularity they improved it a uh, few times and now we see the final revision well at least so far final revision because definitely there will be more in future and their final uh, revision of uh, single dy dynamic driver flagship with uh, uh, developed in-house uh, driver, packaged into nice uh, mirror-like polished uh, uh, metal shell, so that everything that we like about the Moondrop uh, K-series. And the uh, price is $190, they didn't uh, change it much, and that's probably everything. I will add link to the AliExpress shop in the description, and let's have a closer look. So, package is with traditional anime girl, on the back side you'll get a uh, pretty lot of information, explode diagram, some information about uh, uh, diaphragm and so on. And what is interesting, 123 decibels of sensitivity, but it's per uh, volt RMS, not per milliwatt like uh, many other companies does. 10 mm dynamic driver with ultra linear technology and uh, 32 ohms of impedance, really low level of harmonic distortion, because Moondrop spend a lot of time tweaking and uh, tuning this earphone. They have some inner cavity for sound uh, tuning and tweaking. And under that uh, outer cover we'll get box. You can see that it opens two ways, pretty interesting. And here is short uh, manual on how to insert ear pieces into your ears. And in the box we'll get stock cable, set of tips, three pair of foams and three pair of silicones. And even through this box you can see that silicones here used some unusual. And uh, some velvet pouch, uh, actually it's not for storage of uh, ear pieces themselves probably, but you can use it. But mainly to accommodate inside set of spare spouts and they have different colors. so. Uh, they can be used for sound tweaking and nice storage case most probably it will be used to uh, in everyday usage of these earphones and of course uh, cutters themselves so here they are I really like this mirror like uh, finish uh, I like this metal but as you can see it gather fingerprints uh, like hell so of course uh, it's a price you're paying for that uh, mirror like surface and it's all almost unavoidable overall level of execution and craftsmanship is really high you can see that slightly uh, they are not rounded here they have some edges and that looks uh, really fancy because they are soft and, and uh, overall wearing comfort is nice they fitting great into ears and remain fitted uh, really well they even put some small captions here so overall it's really nice you can unscrew the spouts this way and uh, screw back or replace them with other filters Spouts have uh, slightly above average length and uh, passive sound isolation is also slightly above average. There is a lip for holding the tips and protective grill, of course, all that uh, necessary things are done really well. And uh, here is stock cable. Moondrop promised us uh, uh, copper with thick silver plating, so probably the layer of silver here is slightly thicker than traditional. Here used uh, two pin connectors and I really like that, I'm a fan of two pin connectors, except of flagship models of course, but here used uh, some really nice ones, they fitting well and they even have uh, some kind of slight click on the during the connection, so holding uh, in sockets uh, really well. Cable itself is also unusual, there are of course uh, traditional ear hooks to guide the wires, but here you can see that uh, cable is braided, but it goes in some kind of uh, probably PVC tube used as insulation, so a bit unusual in terms of design. 
In terms of softness, it's about average, not super soft, but definitely not the hardest one, so pretty comfortable in everyday usage. Microphonic effect is low, and as you can see, they matched uh, splitter, chin slider, and uh, jack to the design of the earpieces themselves, so they're also made of polished uh, metal. If you don't like the idea of getting all fingerprints on your earpieces, there is also a made uh, metal version, but uh, it's out of stock, so you need to wait if you're getting it. But in general, as you can see, in terms of design, build quality and all other exterior stuff, model is just uh, absolutely superb. And of course about the sound, I gave them about 60 hours of burn-in and uh, they changed the sound during first uh, 20 hours or so. So if you decide to get them, uh, you need about uh, one day of uh, burn-in before they went to their full potential. And of course it's necessary to experiment with tips, they are really responsive to tip rolling, so you can try some uh, third-party aftermarket tips. Also, they have uh, two types of uh, sound tuning. For me, gold uh, spouts are slightly better because they offer a bit uh, more balanced treble signature. So, this description I will make for this gold spouts. And uh, there, there, there are a lot of reviews of uh, Kato over the internet, and they are pretty polar. Some people like them, some people really don't like. But actually, if you heard KXXS, you can get an idea of uh, do you need them or not, because it's definitely the development of KXXS ideas on a new, better level. And, uh, of course, it's not a traditional tuning, Moondrop went their own way, creating a natural and uh, slightly lightweight uh, type of dynamic driver tuning. At the same time, it's not uh, as uh, dry and uh, as focused on the micro contrast as balanced armatures. So, this model is definitely not for everyone, but for those who like uh, such sound, they are real, uh, really uh, hidden gem that offers a non-traditional sound representation. So let's talk about everything in step by step. And FIO M11 Plus will be our source of uh, uh, examples for today. So bass go pretty deep, actually depth is not maximum, but uh, still it's uh, pretty deep and uh, it has nice impact and slam, but at the same time it's almost not accented. On the frequency response it's slightly boosted, but in practice, uh, because of that uh, uh, fast response and focus on the small nuances and details, it doesn't sound super meaty or super weighty, but at the same time it will give you nice impact and a pretty good punch. It's superb for those who like that focus on the smallest nuances and realism, and not a great choice for those who used to more meaty and weighty type of low frequencies. But with acoustic instruments, with uh, timber rich instruments that are properly recorded, it sounds re really engaging. And actually, that's why our my first example it's uh, Music Anuda and No Sunshine. And double bass here sounds really fun. You can hear all the nuances, you can hear the resonance of uh, wood, you can hear the movement of strings, so really impressive. And uh, thanks to the boosted, uh, uh, slightly boosted upper mids, it builds a striking contrast with uh, Petra Mahoney uh, vocals, uh, giving you that uh, interesting balance. Of course, they are super coherent and the bass is really well controlled, it stays uh, on its own place almost all the time. And uh, mid frequencies are somewhere in between typical dynamic drivers and balanced armatures. They have nice uh, definition and detailization, they sound uh, crisp. And actually they are pretty critical for the proper weight. When it's present in the record uh, they will play it nicely, but at the same time they won't try to hide any issues here, so they are also critical for the overall quality of records. And, but it's common for the model tuned to be uh, natural and focused on the uh, detailization. They don't try to boost dynamic or emotion, so it's not the model if you used to some fun sounds or for the sounds that can be called musical. It's more like uh, audiophiliac uh, natural tuning, but at the same time they are not uh, really go 
uh, far into micro contrast and don't sound too dry or analytical. Imagery stage is noticeably above average in width and slightly above average in depth. So width is really great. Depth is just okay for this tire, so they are wider than deeper. But uh, layering is nice, so in this aspect you get uh, proper positioning of instruments and stuff on the stage. And uh, as an example for the mid frequencies, Robert Plant, uh, Darkness, Darkness, really like this track, uh, interesting guitar and uh, Plant vocal that starts almost uh, emotionless and then uh, shows more and more emotions constantly on and on and uh, at the end it's super emotional and this earphones allows you to enjoy that uh, uh, performance in small nuances and details. And the uh, treble clean, crisp, uh, highlighted, accented, so if you are sensitive to the high frequencies, keep that in mind. They are not crossing the comfortable level for me, but uh, if you treble sensitive, it's uh, definitely not a model for you. But instead you'll get a nice uh, treble performance with proper attacks and decays, really nice extension, not great, but uh, above average. and. Uh, even some traces of basic layering are present here, giving a good overtone saturation and overall clean, crisp and uh, airy treble. And uh, as an example, it's uh, Pat Metney and Lyle Mays. Uh, it's for you. I really like this Wichita album and uh, uh, all this album has a lot of different uh, percussions and that sounds really fun. Uh, and uh, pleasant to ears, but at the same time uh, not uh, too sharp. But it, it's for me, if you're sensitive, I warned you. As for the sources, it's definitely the model that created to use with some mid-tire or higher player to show their full potential, they require something technical, something resolving. And uh, of course you can try to make them warmer sounding, for example, by some warmer sounding player, but to be honest I don't see much sense in this, because it's a unique sounding earphones and it's better to get some players that will show that if you, want, uh, if you don't like their sound signature you just need to get some other earphones. And a few words about the compressions, uh, really brief ones, uh, so... Uh, what we've got. So over KXXS this model offers a more defined bass, slightly uh, less recessed mids with more nuances and overtones and a bit better layering on the treble, so it's just a step forward for KXXS. Not a huge, but uh, pretty noticeable. Uh, what we've got in this uh, price range also, I don't know, NF Audio NM2, they sounding drier and more focused on the micro contrast, they are slightly more monitoring and uh, analytical. This model is also, but uh, they are slightly less uh, of that tuning. Eco's recent model that I reviewed not so far ago, they are also a bit natural with uh, slight less energy in bass and in the treble area. So, maybe I forgot some other dynamic driver models, actually Fios FD3 is more fun and V-shaped and FD5 because of the, their open design they sound more spacious and better building stage and slightly less uh, natural and uh, more even on the treble. But uh, let's summarize this part. Kato is just a development of Moondrop ideas, if you like them, you, you like them, if you won't, maybe it's not a model for you, because Moondrop is really consistent in terms of tuning. Thank you for listening, thank you for your attention, and of course, uh, have a nice day.